Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Spatial. Today, I will show you how to create a topographic position index using a model builder and making your workflow completely automated. So let's get started. So go to the add section, add data. So let me add our dem file into our ArcGIS. So click add. So this is a dem file we're going to use for this work. So now go to the section called Arc Toolbox that is available in here. This section is called Arc Toolbox. So let me go to this section, Arc Toolbox, and go to the top section called Arc Toolbox. Right click, add a toolbox. So let me add a toolbox here. So here, uh, go to this section called New Toolbox. A new Toolbox. Click New Toolbox. Now let me name as Topographic Position Index. Topographic Position Index. So now click Open. So now click this. Click the Topographic Position Index and Open. So wait for some time. The tool will be added to this Arc Toolbox. So let me uh, this is our topographic position index. Let me right click, go to the section called uh, new and go to the model. So this is our model builder section to create our model and making it automated completely. So in this section, uh, go to the proper, go to the name called models here and go to the model properties. Let me name as topo graphic position index so let me name the label as uh, let me copy this So now click OK. Make sure that in name section you don't give any space. It may result, it might, it will result errors. So click OK. So this is our topographic position index. Uh, toolbar, it's model builder. Go to the call, section called search. And now let me search as focal statistics. So search it, drag the focal statistic spatial analyst into our model builder. So now let me drag into the model builder. So this is our uh, focal statistics tool. So now let me right click, make a variable parameters as an input raster. So and further, so again right click, go to the make variables parameters as a neighborhood. So this is our neighborhood. So let me click this. So the next tool we're gonna add this is our uh, minus tool. So go to the search section again and uh, let me minimize it. So remove this, enter as minus. Now click search, now click search. So this is the first, uh, minus spatial, anal spatial analysis tool. This is our tool required. Let me drag into our model builder. So this is our minus tool. So now let me connect this tool. Use our using the connect tool that is available in the model builder. Connect. Let me click the output raster and connect into in post, uh, input raster constant value one. So this is our uh, first uh, first way. Now uh, let us get uh, get inside the focal statistics too. Right, double click. 
so uh, we have to input raster so in here click the input raster section as input raster okay so choose the so we can choose the neighborhood in the neighborhood section so now output raster so we can choose an output location later click ok now go to this section called neighborhood let me expand it neighborhood double click so here in neighborhood uh, we're going to choose as rectangle make sure that you choose as a rectangle so and again in neighborhood setting choose as 33 height as 33 and the width as 33 so make sure that neighborhood is in rectangle and neighborhood setting the height is in 33 and width is in 33 so now click ok apply so click ok mm, after that uh, go to the input raster here click our dem file this is our dem file so click ok and next uh, next step is go to this uh, called uh, the word is tool called minus double click and uh, next we're gonna enter the input raster input raster or a constant value 2 as a uh, input value constant raster 2 as a I think output raster so let me rename this section cancel this so here in focal statistics the output raster let me rename as a focal uh, focal start uh, focal start focal start so we have named a uh, renamed as a focal statistic as a focal start now click ok so let me get inside this uh, minus tool section again we have chosen the uh, input raster of the constant value 1 as our uh, dem file so this is our dem clip uh, dem clip final uh, this is our file so let me uh, make some changes wait a second so let me uh, rename the that part to cancel this go to the section rename as our input dem file input dem so click ok so input dem and go to the minus tool again make sure that uh, you click the input raster constant value 1 as our input dem and second the input raster or the constant value 2 as our focal stat focal statistics so this tool after that choose your output location so let me choose or do oh, you don't have to choose your output location make sure that you don't choose the output location uh, make it as a default uh, section so, so now click ok so our tool is ready to run so let me rename the section as a or uh, let me name as a tpi tpi raster so now click ok so this is the output uh, required one the tpi so go to the section called auto layout now click auto layout so this is a so model is ready to run so let me make sure that input dem as a model parameter and tpi raster as a model parameter so now let us validate it so now let us run our tool go to the section call run so now uh, let me run this run so the model is running now so we have our layer generated from our model so let us check that so before that let me close this let me minimize it so this is our uh, tpi raster that is topographic position index now go to the raster right click or uh, just uh, let me turn off uh, turn off other uh, dem file go to tpi raster go to the properties go to the symbology section classified uh, so let me select our uh, color run apply and click ok so this is our raster 
that is TPA raster, topographic position index raster, that we have generated from our model. So let me uh, make our model completely automated. So expand our uh, model. Now I've entered as a uh, model parameter and model parameter. So now let me save this. Save. So let me uh, close this. So now go to the Arc Toolbox section. So this is our model created. So let me double click it. Let us check this uh, model. So let me uh, let me input the dem master dem clip our dem uh, dem file. This is our dem file. Let me choose the output location as the TPI TPI two. So now click save. So now click OK. So wait for some time. The model is running. Let us check. So our model is generated. It's working. It's working great. So it is, uh, we have made it. The topographic position index completely automated. Let me close this. And again, uh, let me turn off this one. Right click. Go to the properties. Symbology. Classified. Uh, histogram. Yes. So go to the section. Choose your color options. Okay. Now let me choose as a three classes. Uh, click apply. So click OK. So this is our uh, topographic position index raster. So the TPI evaluates the elevation of every cell uh, in the DEM to a mean elevation of specified vicinity around that cell. So mean elevation is subtracted from the elevation value at the center. So from this section, uh, from this raster file, raster, that is TPA raster, we can observe that, uh, that is the area near the peak of the hills, area near the peak of the hills, uh, peak of the hills exhibits a high index value. So in this case, the blue indicates of a very high index value ranging from 20 to 187. That is the uh, areas are closer near the peak of the hills, peak of the hills. And uh, the red color, the red color that indicates uh, the foot of the hills, which shows a low index value, a low index value. So the low index value that is ranges from 100 and minus 130 to minus 15. So here the green areas, uh, the green areas that indicates the, that is a flat areas. Suppose uh, in case a flat ground surface or a mid slopey region, it shows an index value near zero. So the green area is almost close to the index value of zero. It indicates it is a flat terrain. Flat terrain. So suppose if you're working in a groundwater potential zoning zonations, uh, using this layer, we can uh, uh, give uh, certain weights like uh, the green uh, has a very high weights because being a flat terrain, the water uh, falls onto the ground has a very high uh, percolation rate in flat surface compared to the peak surface where the runoff is more. So suppose you are working in groundwater potential, the green areas will have a higher weights and the blue areas will have a lower weights. So in this way we can uh, use it for a variety of purposes. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you very much.